Have you ever not liked the way your body looks? Maybe you're short, like me, and people used to pick on you in school and ask why you were like that. Short people got no reason. Did these people know that I had to get shots every day as a kid so I could have the opportunity to increase my height? The answer is no, and I bet there are a lot of small things that make you question the way you look. Why does my nose look like this? Why can't I have naturally straight hair? Why do I have to wear makeup when I go out? Otherwise, if I don't, everyone stares at me and people say I look like I didn't get enough sleep last night. Whether or not these things apply to you, they're valid, and so are your feelings. In this series, I'll be interviewing you guys about your struggles with mental health pertaining to depression, anxiety, stress, overthinking, relationships, the list goes on and on. I wanna know how your self-love journey began and if there were any struggles along the way and just tell me about yourself. Since I've, we've mentioned all of this, I've been talking to my friends. Theirs started in like sixth grade and mine wow. started in seventh grade. Because in sixth grade, I didn't care what I looked like. Like if I went to school and I felt cute, I felt cute. The seventh grade rolled around and when we got older, um, people got meaner. My health, my like emotions all went downhill. I would wake up at like the crack of dawn yeah. every morning and make sure my hair was perfect. I'd make sure I was wearing the amount of makeup. I would make sure my outfit looked great. If somebody complimented my outfit, I felt good. But then as soon as I got an insult, I was like done for. And I always, the weirdest thing I did was I carried a spare outfit in my thing, in my book bag. In case somebody insulted me, I'd be like, okay, I want to go to the bathroom, and I'd go change, uh -huh. and then I'd come out, and then they would be like, oh, that's a cute outfit, and then I would feel good about myself. So it's and almost like you little... were prepared to have something yeah, go wrong with your outfit? To, yeah, I was prepared that's for hard. somebody to just be like, I don't really like your outfit. It wasn't all just my outfits that people didn't like, it was what I looked like. I'm the type of girl that really loves food, <laughs> so... I, just, I went from the girl who would eat a lot to the girl who would maybe have a couple bites. It was a, like a little bit towards the end of eighth grade where I was like, I kind of have an issue. Since I was homeschooled and I knew I was going to a public high school, I was like, eighth grade is going to be my year to like glow up. And that's where the like not eating became an issue. I think everybody kind of believes if you don't eat that much, you're going to lose weight. Yeah, after a while, I got immune to it. The not eating a lot and not liking what I looked like kind of carried through the beginning of high school. It's ninth grade. Every girl kind of wants to, like, be pretty. Yeah. Eat, but, I mean, everybody is pretty. But every girl is pretty and beautiful and needs to, like, own it. I don't like accepting it, but I was kind of the mean girl. Like, I was mm -hmm. kind of like, oof, your outfit doesn't match. And then it was once I got into seventh grade and they started doing it to me, that's when I was like, wow. Like, and I, later on, I found most of the girls I did it to, and I apologized. Besides a couple of bullies, it was nothing. But then mm -hmm. seventh and eighth grade rolled around. Bullies came up, mean girls came up. Because even some of my friends, well, I wouldn't call them friends, but even were putting me down. I kept surrounding myself by them because they were popular. And I, like, every ninth grader wants to be popular, you know? Kind of that thing. So <laughs> I kind of stuck around them. I kind of just let them be mean to me. I'm not going to let what happened in ninth grade happen to them. Exactly. And was there a specific moment where you told yourself that you had to start eating again? How did that happen? It was a toxic relationship. I told everybody, I was like, this today is the start of a whole new me. Like, Aww. I'm going to be healthy. You I'm made an effort. I'm going to start loving myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I had, it was a big effort. Thank you for sharing your story. Yeah, I've never really shared it before, but now that I'm sharing <laughs> it right now, I'm like, I'm kind of glad because it's like it's kind of nice to talk about it and mm -hmm. maybe it will help some other girl. I really hope so and or even boy. <laughs> exactly. First off, I just want to say how proud I am of Jessie for being able to share her story and open up. It definitely opened her doors for being able to be a little bit more vulnerable and maybe get some better advice on how to handle situations like this if they do happen to come up in the future, but hopefully Jessie, they won't and hopefully you are good to go and no one else is ever going to 
um, be mean to you about your outfit choices because that's something that I personally have never had to deal with but there were other things that I had to deal with like my height for example from the beginning and that is just something that comes with time and you know that by a certain age you're not going to get any taller. Sometimes you have to accept things for how they are and you have to learn to love these things about your body because they're not going to change. I think the lesson of Jessie's story is that Sometimes you're on the receiving side of hate comments and sometimes people can be really mean, especially in middle school, and they can bully you for things that sometimes you're not even sure why they even matter to a different person, but in Jessie's case it was because someone was bullying her and perhaps that person on the other end didn't really feel too confident about themselves so they went and tried to make someone else feel bad so maybe they weren't the only one. Jessie's confidence has grown so much since she has endured this and I can tell in the call that that she was really in a better place than she had been before so that is the goal and I really hope that you guys learned something from Jesse's story and that maybe it taught you that hey people can be mean and there's no saying that everyone is going to like you you just have to keep doing you and if someone doesn't like you for you then there are plenty of other people who are going to like you because of those attributes that you possess that people do find attractive the people who are going to look up to you and be friends with you and talk to you are people who are actually important in your life and people who you should trust and you should want to grow your relationship with so on the topic of self-love I know that that's what this entire episode was about and it would be wrong of me to leave out a part where I tell you guys what I do when I want to love myself a little extra on some days because sometimes we get super stressed we've all been there and we need something a little super special to help us relax and just calm down so some of my favorite things to do I love to listen to podcasts you guys know this today is a Monday and you already know I'm gonna be listening to unsolicited advice podcasts are something that really helps me I actually made a video on it a couple weeks ago maybe it was a month ago now that I will link in the description for you guys if you do want to check that one out. Something else that really helps me that I've gotten into recently is reading books and my library offers a program, I don't know if it's a program, it's really just an app where you can take out Kindle books but I do it on my iPad as you guys know as I'm pretty sure I've said before. That's a really great way to keep myself learning and occupied while also just maybe taking some time away from something else and dedicating it to reading a book that I feel like I could learn a lot about. Every girl or guy or whoever you are, if you need a spa night or if you enjoy a nice cozy spa night, by all means take it. I know for myself every weekend and probably tonight I'm gonna be doing a face mask because they can help cleanse my face at the same time while also just being something relaxing for me on a night that I truly need more self-care so those are my tips for if you guys need something else that can maybe brighten up your day if you're feeling a little bit stressed. I really hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of this series. As I said in my video a couple weeks ago where I mentioned my eating problem, if you guys do want to see that video and you haven't already I will have a link to it at the bottom as well as in the cards above. Even if this helps just one person or multiple people, I've done my job and I hope you guys are able to learn something from my story as well as Jesse's story because both of them are true things that have happened to both of us that we felt the need to share in order for other people to learn from. If there is absolutely anything that you guys are struggling with also that you may want someone to just talk to about it, maybe you can relate to me about it, or maybe someone else who watches this video will be able to relate to you, you are always welcome to DM me and my DMs are always open for anyone who is struggling and needs to maybe get their thoughts out, get their feelings out. I think that would be a really great thing to be able to open up and if you are comfortable with it, you never know who you could help. And I'm gonna make a promise in this video that for anyone who is struggling and is watching this video currently and has something that they would like to share, if you do DM me after having watched this video and you feel like you have a story that could maybe help someone else, I will dedicate an episode to your story because I feel that everyone's story is important, is valuable, anyone can learn from it, and if you have words to say that could help someone else, I want those words to be heard. And know that you're not the only one out there who's dealing with a problem with height, a problem with the way they look, a problem with their fashion, or anything, anything under the sun that we covered in this video. I hope that it helped you if you are in the same boat and struggling with maybe one or two of the same things. And one quick thing I do want to mention is that I'm not a professional, but I do believe that the content I make can help you guys and can make an impact on your life if you do happen to be struggling with the same thing. And I truly want to help you guys through any situation that I can. I will for sure have links in the description of places and websites you can go to and connect to in regards to mental health. But just know that part of this series is for me to be able to express my feelings and other people's feelings in relation to people who 
may be able to better connect with someone who is my age or maybe who is dealing with the same things that I have gone through and you want my personal experience with that. That being said, I will see you guys this Saturday at 11 a.m. EST.